Here we have a basic network example. On the left hand side we have the 192.168.1.2 computer and on the right we have the 2.2 and then we have a router in between that's routing the traffic between the two subnets. Now by default the computer at 1.2 is going to go out to the internet at 1.254. So how do we make it so we can get to the 2.2 network? Well we can add what's called a static route. Let's take a look at that. I'm in my Windows server and what I can do is I can go to a command prompt. I could also go to PowerShell because that also works. And what I need to do is to add this static route by choosing the route add command. Now, if I want to make this so it's persistent next time I reboot my computer, that route is still going to be there, then I'll want to do a slash P. Next, I'll put in 192.168.2.0. This is going to be the subnet that I want to reach. Then I'm going to need to put in the mask, so type in the word mask for subnet mask, followed by 255 three times, because mine is a slash 24. And now I need to put in the gateway, which is going to be the router. And that's the inside of that router. Now just hit enter, and that route is now complete. So now if I want to reach the two network, I can do that, assuming my router is at the 1.1 and connected to the 2 dot zero slash 24 network. And if I'd like to delete that route in the future, say I no longer need it, all I have to do is type in route delete, and now the route is gone.